What's good, June Squad? It's your boy, June, and today I'm bringing you a reaction video. You guys seem to like the last one that I did, so I thought I would do another one. This one's called Boaters vs. Jet Skiers. Yeah, Boaters vs. Jet Skiers. Uh, the video is actually produced by Barstool Sports, so go check them out on YouTube. Um, they did an awesome piece here, but I came across this and I needed to check it out with you guys. Um, let me know what you guys think about it. Comment below, um, and give them a thumbs up. We're going to go ahead and check this video out. Let's go. All right, guys. So let's try and check this video out. It's made by Barstool Sports. Um, go follow them on on YouTube. Um, I've seen parts of the video already and crazy, but boaters versus jet skiers, guys. Here we go. When you think about waves, you might think about the beach or coronavirus. But the truth is the best waves happen at the lake. The United States of America is home to several unexplained phenomena. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, did you just see that? They didn't go there. They didn't go there. Bro, is this photoshopped? This got to be photoshopped. His hair is pushed back that far? Oh hell no. <laughs> However, no phenomenon is more mysterious than waving at the lake. For some odd reason, the same person who gives the bird on the highway <laughs> turns to a friendly waver when on a landlocked body of water. To find out why that is, I visited... So, they're talking about <laughs> waving. Oh my God. So, who... Uh, wait a minute. Oh, we gotta rewind this. Hold on. To a friendly waver when on a landlocked body of water. To find out why that is, I visited a lake yeah. in Missouri. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. So they are literally talking about <laughs> waving. I wave. I wave at every boater. I don't know about y'all, but I wave at every boater. Um, because I think it's a nice thing to do. Some people don't do it. But some people do, and I kind of get pissed off a little way back. So I'm like. <laughs> Named after one of my favorite Netflix shows. I wave at everybody. What's that all about? Because people on the lake are like relaxed. You're supposed to be relaxed on the lake. You're supposed to enjoy everything. Are you relaxed? Oh yeah, I'm <laughs> chilled out. I'm Absolutely. Can't at a dog. Absolutely. You know? Absolutely. <laughs> fire push at the lake is that you crossfade it with the natural high of being waved at. Anytime you see happiness in a wave, it's going to make you feel good. Make you feel Where? Inside. All over my body. <laughs> All over his body. While the orgasmic sensations of a friendly wave are indisputable, the sensual symbolism of jiggling your hand in the air does leave room for larger questions. Are you waving? You guys, comment below. Tell me how many, if you guys wave at other boaters. I mean, we got to kind of keep this... The, uh, how do you say the niceness in the sense of being on the water sharing the water together you know we're all boaters we all have shared the same passion and love for it so i mean i wave because i feel like it's like I don't know, how, how do i say it? like just saying hello um or just like you know have a nice day i guess i'm in the sense why i'm saying it um uh, i don't know like hey i'm a boater too you know <laughs> It could be anything. I mean, just having the love for boating is probably the main reason. But let's let's go back a little bit. All right. You waving hello, or are you waving goodbye? I'm just waving, uh, saying hi, really, more than anything. So hello. Hello. Yeah. Just. But, but then you just leave immediately. <laughs> so That's really goodbye. That's Whatever. Right? It's probably the same thing I just was saying. <laughs> America's obsession with imitating Italian Weepa. extends to all groups of people, except one. Uh oh. Would you wave to a jet skier? Absolutely not. What? Jet skiers are the lake's underground league of teenage thrill seekers willing to go to any length necessary to spike their adrenal glands. They're wow. in your way. 
just not a lot of fun for those guys. Do they wave to you? No. But you that's think bull. They have I do. Both their hands on the wheel for safety. No. Why do you think it is? Well, they're just uh, you know again they're trying to show off. What would you say? Trying to show <laughs> off. Kids turned out to be <laughs> Absolutely not. You guys ever jet ski? All the time. Unfortunate. Do you jet ski, bro? Exactly what that that whole question should have been because those kids are obviously guilty of jet skiing. Man, that is too funny. He he literally he said jet skiers don't wave at him. I mean, there's probably a bunch of you guys out there that don't. You know, we got to kind of spread the love by waving. Just wave, wave to your to your boaters <laughs> as he cuts you off or. Or whatever, but you also, you know, they get mad too because we jump in their waves. You shouldn't be behind a vessel like that. You shouldn't be close to a vessel. You got to give them their proper space. Let them have parts of the world. I mean, shoot, the ocean and the lakes and the rivers are big. Give each other room. Give each other room because if you don't, it's going to be bad on the water. You don't want that. You guys ever jet ski? All the time. <laughs> All the time. The counterculture <laughs> of teenage rebels riding on water motorcycles was more prevalent than you could ever imagine. What does it mean to be a jet ski? The ways of the jet ski. What? He said, the man asked him, what does it mean to be a jet skier? And he said, jumping waves for girls. That's what he said, something like that. That is crazy. Guys, comment below. Let me know what is the meaning, what you guys think your meaning is to the whole jet skiing, what jet ski life does for you, or, you know, what it's about. I want to hear your comments below. The ways of the jet skier are universally known throughout youth culture. It's just a whole different lifestyle than normal, you know? You're just riding the waves. You know, waving to the ladies, you know, maybe. Waving at the ladies. <laughs> and just whipping. It's awesome, man. However. As you can tell, guys, mad young. I mean, guys, that's not what we do out here. I mean, we don't be ripping it in the lakes like that. I mean, there's some people that do rip it in the lakes um, because that's all they have. You know, they have the little, lake, you know, water body around their area. And so they rip it in there. But that could be very dangerous, too, because you get so many people just acting a fool in a little body of water. You mean, it just spells recipe for, you know, collision, for crashes, man. And definitely uh, don't want that. But that's why we do, we ride. We go down the rivers. We go in the oceans. You know, we ride. We don't just play in one little area. That gets boring to me. I don't know about y'all, but it gets real boring to me. I, I ain't even trying to do that. Trying to get a peek at some lake boobs uh -oh. can make more foes than friends. I was watching you guys and I noticed that no one was waving at you on their boats. Why? Uh, I don't really know. I wave at everybody. I never do Why not? Why don't they wave at you? I'm afraid some people get annoyed with us all around all the time. Even the lake's it's most because you're running around right next to a boat. About the probably dangers of think water cowboys. But what about jet what? skiers? Oh, cockroaches! Oh. Cockroaches! He called us cockroaches. <laughs> Yo. Yo, I, I don't know. That is wow. He called us cockroaches. <laughs> That's the first time I've ever heard that. Wow, cockroaches. We gotta hear that again. My dude called us cockroaches. Oh boy, that's hilarious. Oh, oh cockroaches. Oh. Cockroach. <laughs> I follow big cruisers around because I like to jump the land. And they get a little close, don't they? Yes, they yes. do. And I'm and scared to death I'm gonna kill one. Yes. Jet skiers are seen as an insatiable parasite who misuses a community resource. What do you say to people who say oh, wow. jet skiers are just basically treating a, a, a baseball field like it's a dirt, dirt bike track? You know what? Did Karen say that? Did Karen say that? Was it Karen who said that? <laughs> it probably was Karen that said it. <laughs> what do you have to say to the Karens of the world? You know Let what? the gestures be. Yeah. What's vibe? And on the lake, who can vibe 
comes down to one crucial factor. So what do you think it is about jet skiers that boaters just don't seem to like? I think it's a lot younger kids, you know, a lot of the older boaters don't think they're as mature or shouldn't be, you know, doing some of the crazy stuff that they do out there on the jet skis, which, you know, it's understandable, but it, you know, boring. Because <laughs> old people are old. <laughs> yeah, they're old, they're slow, yeah, they go yeah. fast. It's true. Wow. So, I, you know, of course, I'm going <laughs> to rebuttal that. Um, nah, I mean, there's a lot of older people riding skis. Um, I've met quite a few people. Um, look, I'm even older. I'm 46, and I ride skis. So, you know, I guess the, the, the now is different because, you know, we have so many skiers, so many jet skiers out there now that um, everybody wants to do and everybody wants to explore. Everybody wants to, you know, check out different areas. So, you know, and you can get into different areas with not having a big boat and if you're a loner you don't need a big boat just for you you know so jet ski has evolved in a sense um in the past what five years man and um yeah i they young themselves given facts so let's go on true that the human body begins to decompose at the age of 35. what about jet skiers what about what? jet skiers I'm sorry, I can't. Jet skiers. Jet skiers. Jet skiers. I'm sorry, I can't. Jet skiers. Oh, jet skiers. Fairly or unfairly, a damaging stereotype is being perpetuated. In your mind, what do you see when you think of a boater? I think of a boater. An old geezer. Wow. However, Young one crowd. of the realities of living life the is the longer you do it, the more geezer you get. Do you guys think that you'll ever become boaters? Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You grow, you so you start young, you start as a jet skier, then you grow into a boater. And then with that being said, you think about, hey, maybe I should slow it down because one day I'm gonna be a boater. No. Yeah. Hey. You're a boater one day. What's your attitude gonna be towards jet skiers? Uh let them jump my wake. Yeah, get the wake as big yeah, as I can and let's wake. see how high they can. Listen walk. to this guy. <laughs> For these wave jumpers to ever get waved at. Empathy will be required from both parties. Yes, definitely. Do people remember what it was like to jet ski? And by jet ski, I mean be young. Uh, no. Uh, yes no. and no. I think it was different when they were younger. What was it like? I don't know. <laughs> it's like they don't know. I mean, they forgot. Regardless of anyone's age-based predisposition to forget simple information, an open and honest conversation would be key to transforming this sacred lake relationship. If you could say anything to a jet skier and just be honest and be truthful and frank and tell them the truth, what would you say? Just wave. Back. Just wave. Yeah. You heard that? Yeah, wave. Did you just hear that, guys? He said, just wave. So if you're not waving, wave. <laughs> I'm backing up a little bit. What would you say? Just wave. Back. Just wave. Yeah. Just have a good time. Wave. Don't be so serious. They're too serious. They're too serious. And they're too serious about being cool. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. And that's a shame. Agreed. However, all stories have two sides. If you could address a boater. So, homeboy was upset at Jet Skiers and all it is because they don't wave. You, you heard them ramping. And it was all because they don't wave. Wow. You could tell them the truth. What would you say? I'd say... You're a nice guy, but I don't know. You're going too slow, and I'm going to pass you. Do you ever see there being a, a, a chance of bringing that relationship together, the olds and the youngs, on the lake? I think you're always going to have different groups of people. You're going to have your boaters, you're going to have your jet skiers, you know. Whether you know some old people decide they want to get on a jet ski one day, maybe, but I don't think that you're ever really going to find boaters and jet skiers getting along. Jet Man. skiers may never be Hold on. That. But hold on, hold on. You know, I I know a lot of boaters that love jet skiers, and I know. I mean, I know. I actually don't know any boaters, and I know a lot that feel that way. I mean, now granted, when you're coming down the ocean, <laughs> and you're about I don't know two, three hundred deep with jet skiers. 
Yeah, boaters may not like us because people tend to just ride by them, you know. And uh, you got to stay away from the boater. You got to give a boater his his space because, you know, he can't stop on a dime like you can. And I've seen a lot of, a lot of you know, accidents happening where jet skiers are way too close to the boat and uh, either ran up on the back of the boat and or literally couldn't control you know the jet ski and the jet ski kind of just hydroplane right into the boat thinking that they can turn you know <laughs> newbies they don't know their watercraft and they're out there playing around co in close quarters yeah no no i, I don't want to be around that i don't want to be around that maybe a jiggling hand isn't what they wanted to see jiggle all along Oh, wait, 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 we gotta back this up, we gotta back this up, hold on. I wanted to see Jim. Hold on. Maybe, but I don't Oops. think that you're ever really gonna find boaters and jet skiers getting along. Jet skiers may never be waved at, but maybe a jiggling hand isn't what they wanted to see jiggle all along. <laughs> <laughs> The younger crowd, of course, they want to see girls. Ten girls? <laughs> Let us on the boat. <laughs> but you got so many people now, so many people now with families going out there riding, you know, bringing their their brothers, their mothers, their sisters, their fathers, everybody, they're bringing out jet skiing now. It's not just about the young crowd running running crazy because our group rides don't have young dudes like that in them. And they do, you know... Those are the guys that kind of, they want to go fast all the time and, you know, they're probably on a spark. <laughs> no offense to the spark owners. Uh, jet ski life. <laughs> yeah, the jet ski. It's a jet ski life, people. It's a jet ski life. That's right. Well, that was a good video. And, um, yeah, that was, that was a pretty cool, cool video. Um, but, a lot, they, you know, it's all about being nice on the water to everybody else. Like, you don't want to go out there flicking people off. Now, granted, if they did something wrong to you, then, yeah, give them the middle finger. But, you know, most of the time you're trying to be nice on there. Wave to, to the people going by. Wave, you know, say hello. I mean, it's only should be a human, humanity way. Not even humanity way. I didn't even say that right. <laughs> anyway, humane way for a person to just express themselves by saying hello. You know, you should say hello to everybody. You'll brighten somebody's day up by just saying hello. How are you doing? You know, saying rock on. Give a compliment. It, it helps people. It helps everybody. Don't just be. Don't be your your. Your haters out there and, uh, you know, jumping on keyboards and stuff like that and, and, and just talking and, and bullying other people on the Internet and stuff like that. You got to be better than that, guys. Wave at people. Say hello. Oh. But I hope you guys like this video. Uh, if you want to see more, please comment below. Tell me what your favorite part of this video was. Uh, I'll... I'll bring up some more videos. We'll do some more reactions and stuff. I'm actually going to be doing a live um, on the on the main channel, guys. He, right here on this channel, I'm going to be doing a live feed. Um, and you guys can interact with me and stuff like that. And we'll watch these videos together if you like. Um, but drop a big a thumbs up on that like button. Hit that button for me. Thank you very much, guys. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.